Let's start out the game. We are going to draw, so both Tim and I, we have an identical map. We're both going to draw two green crabs and we're going to put them on the board. Here's the crabs. One's going to start up two spaces. One's going to start on the bottom space there. They're both going to start at the three. And if they get to the top, we lose. Or well, the player who the player who the crabs get to the top loses. Right. So we're both basically competing to see who can survive the longest. Uh, every time they get hit, they're going to wind down. That's why they have the numbers on them. Same with the trees here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do our first shot. So Tim has a, a setup similar to this, and we're now going to draw from our hand. We're going to start off, we have a hand of two, which means we draw two, and we're going to see what we got. Okay, well, that's, that's not a great start. Okay, so we have down, same. So this is our ball, this is our cannonball, and we can decide which lane. We have two lanes, we can decide which lane we want to shoot down. All right, so to start off, maybe we're going to, we want to get down low here, so we're going to shoot here. We're going to hit that tree. So it got hit, so it's going to take over to a three. Once we get past the one, it's, the tree's gonna be destroyed. So now we gotta decide what we wanna do. Well, we wanna keep moving down. So we're gonna use this token here. We move down and we stay in the same lane. Some of them say switch, some of them say same. It says same, so we're going down the same lane. So we hit this tree here. All right, we're doing pretty good. We're getting close to those crabs. Unfortunately, the other one we drew is up same. And you see this little token here that represents a bomb. So when we, when we leave that space, we're going to leave a bomb behind us. So we're going to shoot up. There's nothing here for us to hit, so we're going to fall right back down. We're going to hit this tree. Then that bomb's going to explode. That's the end of our cannon. So that's the end of our turn. So you, the, the, the shot will end if you hit a bomb that you created or if your, if your uh, shot falls off the bottom of the board. Right, if it goes into the ocean, yeah. it's gone as well. All right, so both these shot tokens go back in our bag. The crabs are going to march toward us, one each. And we're going to get a new crab to come out. Okay, it's, this, is a, this is similar to these guys, except this is a switcher crab. So every time he gets hit, he's going to switch which lane he's in. We're going to start him in this lane here. And now, before we go on to the next shot, we get some upgrades. So I'll stuff these up here. Yeah, let's see what we get. We're going to draw three. Okay, so quick rundown of this. So we got two shots. These will be new shots we add to our bag. They're generally better than the shots we have right here. And this is a peg. We're going to install this on our map somewhere like a, a tree. However, every time our cannonball hits it, it's going to trigger a cool ability. I'll tell you a little bit about that one in a minute. But let's look at these individually. So first off, this shot is a flat same. What does that mean? That means when we hit it, we're not going to go up. We're not going to go down. We're just going to hit the same row and we're not going to switch columns we're going to stay in the same column so it's going to hit the same spot twice that's pretty powerful okay. but only if you're on the right thing if you're hitting a tree it's not doing you that much good this guy here we're going to go down so wherever we're at we're going to go down two spaces which that could be really useful and even better and we're not going to switch from the same space but even better we're going to be able to remove a bomb so if there's a bomb already on the board someplace this shot will let us remove it so that's very useful. And finally, this peg here, uh, the splash. So yes, yeah, it's called splash. Every time we hit this, it upgrades our cannonball so that whenever we hit something else, we can also hit an adjacent target. So like, for example, if this guy was here and we hit right here, we, get, we could damage this crap and this crap. So that's pretty useful. Uh, I think, so, we're going, to, we're going to draft here. I'm going to take this one, add to my bag. Now Tim's going to select one as well. All right. Uh, this, uh, this looks pretty good. I'm going to build this. Okay. All right. This one goes away. No one gets that. And now we're on to the next round. Okay. Now, when you're taking a shot, your hand, you have a hand size. And you have to play everything in your hand. Once you're out of shot tokens in your hand, then you get to start drawing from the bag but you draw one token at a time and have to execute exactly what it says. So you don't have control over the situation anymore, but something cool could happen. Right, exactly. All right, so we're gonna choose which lane we wanna go in. We're gonna start in this lane, I think, based on what we drew. And we're just gonna fall straight down. And our cannonball is gonna hit that tree. We're gonna do a little bit of damage to that tree. Oh, let's go here. Oh, yeah, thanks. And then we're gonna use our first shot token. This is a flat switch. So we're not going up, we're not going down, we're staying flat, but we're switching lanes. So we're gonna switch over here and we're gonna fall again. 
So now we hit that crab, so we'll wind him down. Well, and if a crab's on top of something, if it's on a tree or a peg, you only hit the crab. All right. All right, now we're going to do an up switch. So that means we're gonna go up and we're gonna switch lanes. So we're gonna hit this tree again. Not ideal, but it's what we got. And it's gonna leave a bomb on the crab. So we don't really wanna hit that spot if we can avoid it. Now, just like Tim was saying, now we, we've used up our hands, so now it's, it's just crazy town. We're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna draw the next one. Let's see, we got down switch. Okay, so we move down and we switch lanes. So sure enough, we hit the bomb. <laughs> Before we blow up, we're gonna hit the crab one more time. So that's good. And then our cannonball blows up. That's the end of that turn. Now, when we kill crabs, you hand them to the other player. So when this crab dies, it would go come over to my board and spawn along the bottom. So uh, in the two player game, you spawn one per turn. And in addition, you have to take any crabs that your opponent gives you. All right. All right, so in the round, this guy's gonna climb up here. This guy's gonna move up here. This guy's gonna move up here. So hopefully we kill this guy real soon. A, so he doesn't, we don't lose the game. And B, we wanna give it to Tim because we want him to lose. Yeah. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now it's time for an upgrade. So we're gonna draw three more. It's Tim's turn to pick. Okay, so oh, yeah. gems. Now, Tim was just talking about your hand size. That's your ability to predict where the shot's gonna go. Getting a gem allows you to draw an extra one. Yeah. So right now our hand size is two. If we have a gem, we can draw three. If we have two gems, we can draw four. Um, let's see, and then this is an up two with a switch and a bomb. So, I mean, up is good because it gives you elevation. Because anytime you're in an empty spot, you're gonna fall down. But still, that, that hand size looks really good. I'm gonna go for that. Yeah, I think that was a good move. I'm gonna do the same. All right. Okay. That's out of play. So, let's see, um, we didn't move everyone up yet? No, we do, we, we spawn one more. Yeah, but we didn't move everyone, so. Oh, we did. Yeah, we moved everybody. Okay. Yeah, this, this is a new guy. Okay, so this little guy here, low hit points, <laughs> no problem. The difficulty with this guy is he moves two spaces every turn, so you can't wait around yeah. for him. Yeah. He's, he's nasty. All right, so new round, here we go. So we got our, our gem here, so we're gonna draw three. Okay, we got a down same, we got a flat switch, and we got an up same. Okay, what do we wanna do? Well, so we could we could shoot here and then go down same and hit this guy. That's not bad. We could also shoot here and just do that flat switch. That's pretty good too. Uh, yeah, the, the up same, this may be the only place you can you can deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, so one cool thing about bombs is if you leave a bomb on either a tree or a crab, and then that that tree or crab dies, the bomb goes with it. So that is a really good yeah, point. Or this has one hit point as well. Right, all right. Uh, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot here. I'm going to, so that's gonna tick down. We're gonna do the down same. So we're gonna hit this crab. So he's dead. So we'll be giving that to Tim here in a minute. All right. So then, now, like Tim said, we could use that, but let's actually, let's do the flat switch, get over here first. So this is dead. So now we're going to do up same. So that leaves a bomb, but this is already gone. So now we go up, and we come back down, we hit this crab. And we're right. in your that's, bag. that's everything in my hand, so it's time to draw from the bag and see <clears throat> how the magic plays out. All right, down to same. That removes a bomb, we don't have any bombs because we were clever enough to get rid of it. But we're hitting this guy. That's not bad. And you don't hit the tree, you jump over the tree. Right, so it's down two, so we skip this and go jump right to there. Let's see what we got next. We're gonna stay in play. Flat switch. <laughs> go there, splash. Okay, well that wasn't bad. All right, so, All right. sure enough, we killed that crab, so we're giving that off to Tim. All right. Now, uh, so I'm marching up my crabs now. At the start of this next round, we're, gonna, we're out of green, so we're gonna draw from yellow. We got another Speed oh, crab. A little speed crab. Now, Tim also killed a crab. Yep. So that's also coming to me as well. So, you know, easy come, easy go, or easy go, easy come, I guess, as uh, the case may be. But yeah. And, and when you place crabs, you can't place them on top of each other. So, you, you're, so if you're full, you're going to have to start placing, or if you get a whole bunch of crabs from me to, at once, you're going to have to start filling in these gaps up here. And uh, it's really who, who, who loses control first. All right. So... As you can see, things aren't going super well. Unfortunately, Tim just had a really good turn, gave me a bunch of stuff. But I got some pegs. We're gonna make some magic happen. All right, what are we gonna do here? Okay, so this guy, he is getting close. So we need to get rid of him 
quick. So you can see I got some new pegs here. Let me walk through them real quick. So this is knockback. When you hit this, from then on, whenever you hit a crab, you're going to knock them back one space. That's pretty handy, I'm not going to lie. Um, this one here, this is reuse. When we hit this, our ball immediately teleports to the top of the map, either side that we want. So it basically gets us a, a start over like on the turn. Reset, yeah. That's pretty handy. This one's maybe my personal favorite. So that is... Uh, shockwave? Shockwave, thank you. When we hit Shockwave, you're going to hit all adjacent, orthogonally adjacent crabs. So like we hit here, we're going to hit this guy, this guy as well. So all really good stuff. We're going to need it. All right, so let's go ahead. So this guy, as you can see, he's big and nasty. He's got eight hit points, so we need to start chipping away to him. So we're going to fall straight to him, take him down for one. We're going to switch over here, hit this fast guy, so we got to start nibbling on him too. Um, let's see, we're going to do next up, we're going to do up same. So we're going to leave a bomb on the little guy. We're going to hit our knockback peg, because I like energizing that. Then we're going to drop down two. It's going to remove a bomb, so we'll get rid of that. We hit shockwave, so we're going to kill this crab. There you go, Tim. Ugh. And we're going to hit that guy. Now this guy, probably can't see, but he's got a little shield around him. Basically what happens is at the end of every round, he heals back up. So doing one point of damage doesn't do you much good. So we've got to keep that going. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to take advantage of this reuse. So we're going to hit this peg, which is going to take us back up to the top. We're going to hit the big guy again. Uh, big guy's going to get knocked back, because that's what we got going on right now. So that's now in the bag. In a bag, let's see what we can make happen. Down, same. That's fine. Keep that going. <laughs> Push him. All right, so he gets knocked back again, and he's down to three hit points. That's, that's great. Okay. Up switch, you know it could be worse. We're gonna put a bomb there. We're gonna come up here. We're gonna hit this, which hits this guy. Nice. Liking that. Uh, down choose. Mm. All right, you wanna finish this guy off? I think we probably do, cause he's cause he heals, so he's hard to he's hard to take down. So I think we'll just go straight for him. So there's another one for Tim. So this, is, this is what good terms are made of. You know we go, okay. Down switch. Oh look, we killed this guy as well. <laughs> All right, our bag is empty. What happens then? Well, our ball goes molten, as we like to call it. Uh, what happens is the ball no longer bounces around, it just goes straight to the bottom, but any crabs it hits on its way down does one point of damage. Unfortunately, we're not in the last spot, so we're not going to hit any crabs on the way down, but if we were up here, we would hit this guy. So, but you know what? All in all, a fantastic turn, so I'm not going to complain. Oh, that was a good run. Um, so, what does the end game look like? So, these crabs will continue marching, and now we bring out the boss. Um, there'll probably be a few bosses in the game, but this is what the initial boss looks like. He's got five hit points. Ah, easy peasy. This guy's only got this guy's got eight. What, what's what makes so hard, hard about this guy? Well, when you kill him, he actually spawns his little children at the exact same spot. So let's say we. He's up here, we kill him, yeah, out comes two little guys, same amount of hit points. So a total of 15 hit points, so it's ugly. It's a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, you really gotta work on him. So that's what the boss looks like. Anything we missed? Uh, no, we're just gonna, I mean, there's a few more, there's a bunch more pegs and powers and crabs with cool abilities. Um, and a lot of it's just um, choosing kind of your strategy. Do you wanna build a lot of pegs? Do you wanna invest in your bag, do you want to expand your hand size? All of them are different ways to deal right. with Right, all valid strategies, but but yeah, very different strategies. Yeah. Um, lots of different types of crabs, we didn't tell you about half of them, uh, that kind of mess with your strategy in little ways, make it pretty fun. Uh, we really invite you to check out the rule book, download the print and play, give it a try. Yeah. I really think you really like it. Yep. All right, thanks a lot.